Hi everyone and welcome to a Disney World travel day. There is nothing in between. So baby we should start living now. Cause we only have this life. Wanna laugh and wanna cry. I don't wanna waste my time. So baby we should start living now. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Brianna. And I'm Corey. And we are headed to... Walt Disney World. Mickey. Oh, we're headed to in the parks? No, but I was saying, like, <laughs> find me at the park, Mickey Mouse on your hat. Oh, I didn't so see, we're I didn't to... realize you were pointing. I was yeah. like, that doesn't say Disney So World. we are headed to Orlando. We're headed to Disney World. It is bright and early. It is 4.57 a.m. Our flight... Oh my gosh. Yeah, our flight starts boarding at 5.20. We take off at 6. We get into Disney at 8.45 a.m. We're leaving out of Ruth. Providence. It is nice that we are direct. We ended up opting to fly out of Providence because the flight pattern was just like so, so much better. It was direct and $200 cheaper compared to any other Compared airport, to like Bradley or Boston. Yeah, me. so you know what? We decided to do Providence and our flight pattern is really great. So we are so excited. We've been planning this trip for like five ish months six ish well, months well you've technically been planning well i've been planning it I've just a been lot longer associated with this trip for not knowing yeah so <laughs> we are so excited what are you most excited for today i am excited that we're gonna have beautiful weather the last time that we went to disney for a long trip we had a hurricane Ian. brianna has literally been checking the weather non-stop every hour on the hour for the past 14 days. the weather is like my biggest fear weather birds clowns well i'm not scared of the weather i just don't want to be in the rain I want to have a nice trip. I'm scared of the rain. So what are you most excited for today? <laughs> oh, Flying Fish, come on. Yeah, we have a dinner reservation at Flying Fish, which I'm most excited about, but I am most excited to check well, we into have, our resort. But we also have the after hours. A lot of good stuff happens. Yeah, we've today. got a fun travel day. Time. So if you're new, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And make sure to turn that post notification bell so you never miss any Disney vlogs, but it is now time to head to Orlando. Oh yeah. So the ground is different and I kind of miss the other ground. It's no, a beautiful terminal. Though. Yeah, but no green carpet. So we have landed in MCO. Flight was easy. I ended oh up God, sleeping. I had somehow slept. Yeah, I awesome. edited my pack and prep with me, so I just need to have it exported. I completed two crossword puzzles. You did? Yes. And they were like finished them or I'm like so smart. Wow. Did you finish the one that we were struggling with? No. Okay, so you started. I forbid to look at the answer key. <laughs> I forbid to look at the answer key unless like I know I'm done and I'm just checking spelling. And you're but, like, just that's yeah. It. yeah. So we are in Terminal C. It is brand new. It's like absolutely stunning and beautiful. But we need to go and pick up our bags at the like baggage check. Did they say it was 50 or 51? Either way, I think they're right next to each other. Okay, so we're just gonna go pick up our bags. We need to go do that. There's a Walt Disney World store here. There's a Universal store, Starbucks, a Minions. Also some great food options. Oh yeah, Shake Shack, well. Cinnabon, Chick-fil-A. PGA Tour Grill. Oh. I saw that when you were perusing a little A wine bit. bar George. Yeah. So there's a lot of really cool options, but we've made it. As much as I love the new terminal, I do miss the green carpet. The green carpet makes it feel they real, but- They could always make the tile green. Yeah, let, maybe like a hue green. of green, yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Or even like put a little block of it or something yeah. somewhere, but we're gonna go get our bags and then we need to order an Uber. And then I'm also gonna do an Instacart order. I'll share what we get from Instacart and just share all the groceries that we're gonna buy this week. But let's go get our bags because we need to head to the resort. Yeah, yeah. So we're in the Uber. And we ended up doing an Uber right just right outside instead of doing mirrors and just trying to try it. So we ended up leaving at, what was it, like 9? Oh God. 15 sure. or like 9.20 or something. So it's 9.30 right now and it's just gonna bring us directly to our resort. And I also did Instacart as well. So we're just waiting on them. They should be arriving at the resort at like 10.55 at least it said. I'm enjoying Ubers like so far just because I feel like we're gonna go directly right to the resort. We didn't have to wait for any bus. It was, free. It was we didn't so have to free. Go through a maze of trying to figure out where a bus is. Yeah. yeah. It was just really easy to do Uber because like where it's a little bit more expensive, we can just go down directly to the resort rather than having to like search for the buses and now that terminal C is different than the other terminals, it was just like kind of a pain. So we're enjoying Uber, but let's head to the resort for the grand resort reveal.
and we have made it. And by now, you know where we're staying because you saw the montage, but we are staying at Disney's Riviera Resort, and I can't actually believe that we're here. It is. It. When we pulled in, that's when I got the giddiness. Yeah. Because it, as cliche as it is, you don't think you're staying here until you pull in, and like we yeah. always like just come in and walk around and like come and see it because we love it. Like just we just we love, love the here. look of it. We love it. And that's the final. Just now, we'll like actually go into the front desk, checking in, be like, "Yep, your room," and like blah blah blah. And it's just yeah. like, "Oh my God, we are here, and it's awesome." It is so beautiful. It's amazing. We ended up just coming in this morning. We were super early. We ended up getting here at like, I think it was almost like. 10 o'clock or like 9 40 I think, I think it was 9 45 9 50 is when we ended up pulling in we went to Le Petit Cafe we got nice coffees Corey got a cinnamon bun we just relaxed walked around the resort a little bit we are so excited we are staying in a tower studio so we are going to do a room tour it's our first time ever of course staying at the Riviera which we are so excited about so we now have a few things to do it is very early because it is only 10 30 and technically our rooms are normally not ready until three we're hoping fingers crossed we get in earlier but if not that's okay we have two action items we need to do the first action item is we need resort mugs yes and the second action item is we need to go get our annual passes at epcot oh, so yeah. we've got some fun things to go do so let's go get our resort mugs let's see which ones they have and then we're going to go get some annual passes oh yeah guess where we are you'll never guess the Skyliner because oh, yeah. where else would oh, we yeah. be because we love the Skyliner but we ended up getting our resort mugs how cute we actually got the exact same resort mugs on our trip in May of 2021 our first ever Disney trip together but they were black and they had the red ones yep. they had the 100th anniversary but I didn't I'm not a purple gal not a, yeah I like I just the, didn't like I it. just can't get into the purple and silver no, no. me neither but I got blue Powerade because they have blue Powerade at Bar Riva, which is a 10 out of 10. And I got peach vitamin water. Yes. It's delightful. So one to do has been checked off, which is our resort mugs. Cheers to beautiful start to our vacation. I think my zipper, oh my zipper's closed, so I'll just fake it. But we are now on our way to Epcot to get our annual passes. I'm so, so excited. We've been wanting annual passes for so long. We have them, we just need to get the card. So yeah. two annual passes. And we made it. And we made it. We've made it to Epcot. We're going over to to guest relations right now to pick up our annual passes. I am so excited. I, I was just saying to Corey, like kind of two years in the making, like when we came in May of 2021, we didn't really know if we were gonna wanna do annual passes or if we would honestly ever come back to Disney. But as you can all see by the, the vlogs and such, we are here all the time. So finally, when the annual passes came back, we ended up getting them. You saw the vlog. So let's go get some annual passes. And then I think once we get them, we should cheers and get an actual drink cheers, somewhere. Get an actual drink somewhere. Well, to we have commemorate. The, we have the boardwalk over here. We have. Oh yeah, beach, not a so. bad idea. So we've got some options. We so some annual options. passes time. Ha! Oh yeah. Annual passes. I feel like this is just like hold it up, show the bling, show it. We got our annual passes. I'm speechless. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm all the things, and it's just amazing to finally be annual pass holders. Oh, so yeah. exciting. Absolutely. We waited five and a half hours for them online. We've been up since 3 30 this morning, so yep. I'm feeling extra emotional in this travel day. We've gotten really so are. much fun stuff <laughs> happening, but it is 11:05. We've knocked out both of our like to dos that we yep. needed to do. So now I think what we might do is either take over the friendship boat, maybe go for a walk. Yeah. I can see if we can get an Epcot reservation, but I don't really need to go into the park. What Neither do you think? Do I. Okay. I feel so it's been early morning. Let's yeah. just go sit somewhere. And chill. Brianna had an idea of let's cheers to getting our annual, annual passes. passes. So I'm all for getting a drink at the moment. Okay. So we can do that. So we'll do that. So we'll keep you updated on where we get a drink, but cheer. Oh, well actually here. Because the best kind of cheers is a resort mug. So cheers to officially being annual pass holders. Oh yeah. Cheers. cheers. First drink of vacation, we ended up at Yacht and Beach. I got my pina colava because they had it. So obviously the trip is starting out perfect. And Corey, what'd you get? I got the sunshine margarita. So cheers to our trip and being annual pass holders. Cheers. Yeah. All right, quick little lunch at Primo Piate. We just came back from Disney's Yacht and Beach Club. So I ended up going for the kids chicken tenders because I was just in the mood for that. And then I ended up getting the Romano and herb fries on the side. And then Corey went for the Italian spicy sandwich with a side salad. So we are gonna dig in, have some lunch, and we'll report back. All right, so we have some major updates. I'm sorry for my crazy hair, but we are supposed to be in a tower studio a tower studio that's what i paid for that's what we've been like researching for weeks we're supposed to be in a tower studio we were working with a cory just Corey. like our cory 
this morning to check us in and I had said, hey, we're supposed to have like a split reservation. Is there a way that we could try to get like the room all together instead? And he was like, unfortunately, we only have this like other room available, but you should be fine. So it is one o'clock and we have been yep. here since nine checking in and we just walked into the main lobby and we kind of sat down we were tired and all of a sudden he walked over and goes so do you want me to put you guys in that room that i had before so you don't have to wait for the tower studio my immediately question my immediate question was yeah what's, what's the, cost? the cost he's like don't worry don't about worry it. about it <laughs> And I was like, I was like, are you sure? Oh my God. So Corey and I actually have like no idea what we're walking into right now. We don't know if it's a one bed. The only thing we know is it's a handicap room. I don't know. So it's just wider, wider. in size and then like the shower and tub will have hammer. So I, like, that's really it. I don't really know. So we're going to, do we want to wait? Do we want to vlog our reactions or do we want to save it? Let's save it. I kind of want to enjoy it. All right. So me and Corey Sorry, are going to enjoy it and then we'll give a room it. tour of whatever it is that we're walking into. <laughs> All right. So we have processed it is one about 111 so we've been in the room now for about 10 minutes just like having a moment enjoying ourselves and like i said before when we walked in we didn't really know what we were going into we knew it was handicapped he said it had a bed in it as a joke and we were like okay sounds good and we both walked in and i and and corey included were like literally speechless like i'm gonna turn the camera around but basically corey and i walked into a handicap one bedroom villa at Disney's Riviera Resort, which is something that I don't think we ever thought we'd be able to say that we've ever stayed in, in our life. Like, I was crying, Corey was crying, so that was like the most magical thing that I think has ever happened to me in my life, never mind at Disney. And treat your cast members well, I could like cry again thinking about him doing what he did for us, that was so amazing. Gotta love a Corey. Gotta love a Corey, his name was Corey, so let's do a one bedroom villa tour at Disney's Riviera Resort. So here is the front door. They have this little like stand area so that you can put your stuff on. We just got our bags up here delivered, little mirror. And then you see, we walked in and saw this and just both started like basically kind of crying. But you have a full blown regular fridge and a freezer. A yep, we have upgraded from a beverage cooler. And then over here is an entire like huge galley kitchen. You've got microwave. It comes with all your glassware. There's pots and pans. There's a stove and oven. I mean everything. Also, it is not 508 right now or 509. And then there is also a pull out trash. So the trash is in here. And then you've got your dishwasher. You've got your mugs, your toaster, coffee machine, and then in here is just a lot of cups, wine glasses, the whole nine. And then when you turn over here, you've got a table, nice little chair, a mirror over here, hello. And then you've got some really cute art over here. You've got Remy eating a little apple. And then in here, you've got the living area. This is a pull down bed, but we, we don't need that now. And we've got a full blown living space in here, which is absolutely breathtaking and so beautiful. And then over here is the TV. I like can't even begin to, I feel like I'm just in here giving like a random tour, but we're actually gonna be sleeping in here. This is a little like pull down bed. So if you have little ones or anything, so gets annoyed at me. yep, then Corey can sleep out here. And then I think there's some storage in these ottomans as well, but you know, this is all living room space. We'll show you the outside space in a little bit. We do have a balcony and then you walk in here and you've got a king bed. I mean, like, I can't even believe it. A desk, beautiful bed. We've got an entire massive dresser here. I was worried that we weren't going to have enough space in the tower studio, but I guess I can't really say that. <laughs> we don't have enough yep. clothes to fill Yeah, I can't say that now, but another full body length mirror. And then we have a nice little closet over here with some hangers and everything going on. And then we go into the bathroom, Ooh, but the go ahead. And then we also have a nice little desk over here. Hi, how are you? It's me. And the piece de resistance is this bathtub because- I don't take tubs, but- But I'm taking a tub. You, I'm like I'm taking that. a tub. <laughs> and then you've got beautiful, huge vanity right here. This lighting in here is amazing. Like I just like, I, I just, I cannot, I'm so sorry. And then you walk in here and you've got an extra little mirror, almost like vanity section with a ton of towels. And then you've got your shampoo, conditioner, body wash in here. Beautiful, beautiful shower, nice little rainfall shower head and up here as well. So much space in the bathroom. And then you have a toilet. And then last but not least in here is just a little storage closet. More so closet. if More you need- like your coat closet. Yeah, more coat closet and then you've got a hanger and then in here which is actually something that Corey and I will probably honestly take advantage of at some point but it is 
a washer a washer and dryer so we'll be able to do like literally laundry while we're here which is amazing we've never had the opportunity to do that before and then Corey is gonna lead us outside so the thing that we were most excited about for staying just in a tower studio in general was that we were excited to finally have an outdoor space and a balcony so just cue the waterworks in a minute so we walked out and we were like oh my god this is so beautiful what an incredible view Epcot. Epcot. World Good Showcase. Day. World Showcase. Guardians of the Epcot. Galaxy. Epcot. Guardians of the Galaxy. Space, test track. Everything. Like, Epcot. it is amazing. It is so beautiful. I, I, I can't even begin to put into words just how grateful. And there's also a door here to go back if we wanted to go in and out of our actual bedroom. But, oh my God. Corey, anything you want to say? Oh, yeah, definitely is locked. I, I can't think I'm like Corey speechless. Enough. This is incredible. Here's a little fun little little pick that Brianna happened to see when we were originally looking at the view. If you look next to the Epcot ball, yeah. just to the right, you see a little square building. Yeah. That's a contemporary. It's like right above my finger. So you have that view. So, like, depending on our rest night, what time, like, we're here or whatnot, or depending on, like, whatever night that we're here, yeah. we potentially have two fireworks shows to see because we can see Magic Kingdom as well. This is just, like, amazing. Like I said before, this is, like, the most magical, incredible, so thoughtful, wonderful thing that has ever happened to Corey and I as a couple. Insanity. Me as an individual, Corey as an individual, like this room is huge, it is beautiful, it is stunning. I never thought in a million years that we would ever be able to afford or even be able to do something like this yeah. in our life and now we're... we can. We also were just ordering food not to even like cook in here if we wanted to. Like if we wanted to. We could be making meals in here. We could be I mean making like eggs in the morning. In the morning, like I mean we could be doing so much. So it is 117 we have a flying fish reservation at 555, 555 which we are still I'm assuming gonna do you said you needed a nap before three o'clock so where you're gonna get that nap in. yeah so I think what we need to do is I am going to unpack okay. Corey's gonna unpack we're gonna just settle in get ourselves acclimated this is like so so amazing and yeah, we're just gonna spend some quality time in this beautiful room together and we will see you on our way to Flying Fish. Hi everyone, we had the nicest, like I feel like afternoon just relaxing. Uh, and we chilling out. both took a glorious, glorious nap because oh that yeah. was beyond necessary. It was so nice, so we ended up actually falling asleep on the couch that on we're this sitting, couch on. That we're yeah. sitting on. It was like a nice, probably like hour of like in and out, in and out sleep and like kind of moving around, but it felt so good to rest and recharge. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up like moving into the bed. Corey slept a little bit longer in and here. Then and I went outside and sat on the on the balcony for a little bit. Yeah, and just enjoyed. And I kind of rested in bed. We showered. We got changed because we are getting ready for our dinner reservation at Flying Fish. It is going to rain. So Corey had the brilliant idea of let's just Uber. We were really excited to take the Skyliner and walk the boardwalk, but I'm not in the market to get wet. We can hear the thunder. Hear the thunder we're hoping now. it's just a smaller pocket and not a really large pocket. According to the radar, pocket. it looks like it's just a, a smaller pocket. But the small pocket's going to like torrential so we just want to like even if we go to flying fish early like yeah. we just don't want to leave so right we ended up going to the gift shop because Corey and i have said so many times that if we ever stay at riviera it's going to break the bank in terms of the gift items the not even that we were purchasing yeah and not we, even the room and we but, started this this soiree off strong <laughs> yeah it was three hundred dollars but then we had our uh, annual, annual pass, pass discount, discount so bumped it down to or 220 i forget what it was so let's go through what we bought. I'm just gonna kind of pull some stuff out. So first we ended up getting two Riviera postcards. One of them we are actually going to keep for ourselves in frame. We're gonna do like a Disney gallery wall and we always try to find like little things Disney and we love, love the Riviera. What else is in here? Oh. Some I, things that are not wrapped. Some things that are sure. wrapped, but I will go ahead and I'll just lean over to you because I will go ahead and throw a picture on the screen. Corey and I got a Riviera mug, which I can throw up here on and the screen. And it's a heat one, so it's, yes. it's a there's an image of Mickey and Minnie staring out. I think it's a Parisian sky. I think so. Um, at night. And then when it's heated up, it turns into daytime. So yeah. that'll be fun to see. So that was really cute. And then I'll put another picture on the screen here of Corey's on the rocks glass and it has the rr for disney's riviera resort it is really nice but all these are already wrapped up and, and we don't want to take them take out. them out <laughs> yeah i just don't want to worry about it and then the last thing that is already wrapped up is you all know that we collect ornaments every time that we travel to disney or internationally so we did end up getting this really beautiful blue riviera ornament now this probably won't be the only 
ornament that we get. We like to get about two ornaments per trip. There will be say. a Germany pavilion ornament purchase, I'm sure. Yeah, and we also Standard. are going Dizzy Springs at like the end. Oh yeah, it is already raining. It's already raining. Yeah. Did you look at that? So we are going to Disney Springs at the end of our trip, which is going to be really nice. And we like to go into the Christmas store there or mm -hmm. into Epcot and the Germany one and get an ornament that just feels like it commemorates the trip, not just the hotel. So that was yeah. cool. But you can go ahead and pull out. Now let's get into stuff that you can actually see firsthand. Yeah. Now I have always said and that asked Brianna this. ever since the glimmer of an idea of staying at the Riviera like popped into our minds. And when we came and visited for the first time and yeah. I saw it, I was like, I'm staying, I'm getting a quarter zip, and I fulfilled that prophecy that we have. So, is yes. Tommy Bahama quarter zip, and I'll come close there. You see, like, very subtle, Riviera. but like, nice pattern, but very subtle. I'm going to wear this all the time. This is a great Oh, did one. you even see this? I did not see that. Oh, cute, it says Disney Vacation Club at the bottom. Cute. This is a Tommy Bahama, and it's Tommy dry Bahama. fit, very breathable. So, honestly, if you got chilly light. while you were here, you can wear it, you can wear this golfing like, with thing. jeans. that's the thing, that's a perfect golf top, but yeah. that's a perfect, like, summer evening and it's nighttime now like Absolutely. I'm in shorts by wear that but you wear so that perfect. so that was really nice and then of course we always end up getting a pin from every resort that we stay at because we collect our pins so here is our cute little Minnie and Mickey Riviera pin and then last but certainly not least the thing that I got for my piece of clothing was they didn't really have like a lot of like I don't want to say like female clothing, but like women's clothing that I would like wear. I don't like no, tight fitted stuff fun. like the that. The female clothing that they have is very like cartoony. Yeah, it's just like, like not my style, yeah. which I think is okay. Like I want stuff that I can just like lounge around in and remember the memories. So I ended up getting this embossed Disney's Riviera t-shirt. And then it says Disney's Vacation Club at the bottom. I did get it in a... 1X or 2X? So I got it in a 1X just so it can be oversized for like PJs. You're gonna wear that for PJs. Comfy. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not gonna wear it into the parks. I'm not gonna wear it like out and about, but it is really nice. So it is now, I'm checking my watch, 5.30. Our Flying Fish Reservation is in 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. We are very excited, disappointed that we're not gonna get to take the Skyliner because I was really looking forward to Skyliner and over to Boardwalk. But I'm not in the market to get extremely soaking wet. So. We are gonna pack up our- Like if it was a drizzle, first, who cares, but. Yeah, I think if it was like not as heavy rain, then we would have been fine, but we've got our first purchase of the trip uh, down pat, and if this is any indication on how the shopping of this trip is gonna go, we're in for Thank God we issue. have over how many dollars? Of, of gift cards? Of yeah, we have a lot of dollars of gift cards, so we're hoping to be all right. He's crossing his arms because he just went in to go attack the butter, and I said, Corey, you told me to vlog when we got here. So we ended up just getting our house, not house made bread, but is it locally made, locally made bread? And then they also do the lava salt and volcanic salt with parsley butter. We've got our bread and we are gonna dig in. Our appetizers are on their way. Go ahead, Corey, you can cut into the butter now. I know you're very excited. All right, the butter has melted into my bread and that looks perfect. And we've, Corey's already taken a bite, but this bread and butter is always 10 out of 10. So our appetizers just got here. We both did the lobster bisque. We had this the last time and it was so delicious and there's huge chunks of lobster. And then my all time favorite, which is the shrimp cocktail. Their shrimp cocktail is fabulous. I could eat this whole entire plate. So. We're gonna dig in and enjoy, and then we have entrees coming. But flying fish is always a 10 out of 10. Soup's delicious, and it is like literally my favorite. Corey wants to be showcased, so go ahead and show. Okay, you're go ahead and <laughs> showcase yourself. Alrighty, so I got to eat pearl seafood pasta. We got some mussels in there, clams, shrimp, uh, lobster, and then we also had an addition of octopus as well on there. Yeah, that looks amazing. Very, so good. Very excited about that. And Brianna got the filet with a, looks like a risotto. Yes. And some asparagus. This is the exact same thing that I got the last time because it was just my absolute favorite. Once again, my filet is cooked literally to perfection. I'll put it on my fork so you can see it. So I asked for medium. Oh, perfect. yeah, that's good love. Perfect, perfect. A little bit of steak, a little bit of this. I think it's the sweet onion risotto. Give him the finger. Thank you. I've been dreaming about this dish since we came here in September of 2022, and now we are back, and I literally think of this dish in my dreams because of this risotto. It's some of my favorite risotto in the world. Now I need you to try that because until you try it, I can't, so let's get you trying that pearl pasta. <laughs> I want to know what exactly the cream sauce is. I mean, that's what looks absolutely spectacular. Honestly, you know what? Let me start off with the shrimpy. All right. 
I just want to know the sauce as well. I think that's something that I'm really, really intrigued by. Kind of like a, like a potato. It's weird. It's like a sweet potato. Oh. It really reminds me of like a sweet potato. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's like a sweet potato it's puree or something. It, it, it's, it's very nice. I mean, yeah. the shrimp was lovely. The little pearl sauces were cooking very nicely. This is delicious. Okay, delicious. So we just finished up at Flying Fish. What a wonderful 10. background. You yeah, have a I know. Vehicle. We've got like the beautiful boardwalk behind us, and I'm like, here's the Let's construction do it backdrop. With this. But you know, it is what it is. So we just <laughs> finished up at Flying Fish for dinner. Another 10 out of 10. Like, their food is amazing. We had William for our server and cast member. Spectacular. Spectacular. Like, probably one of the best servers I've ever had on Walt Disney World property. But we just got, show them the thrift. So we went into the photo booth at like the last second. Look at how cute they are. So we got three. I think it was like $7 for the three. And then the regular photos will just like sync to our My Disney Experience or all of our photos. But the boardwalk looks so beautiful right now. Let me show you. So this is like a post rainy boardwalk. It is so beautiful the sun is over there setting which i'm going to show you the boat is probably going to start going in a little bit there's the little sunset and then oh, you can't really see yacht and beach because it gets dark but man is it beautiful over there too i always try to make sure that we're not super blurry like when we're walking and doing stuff but yeah either way finished up at flying fish it was amazing the boardwalk looks so beautiful right now the last time well actually the first time that we ever came to the boardwalk was in september of 2022 and i loved it it was delightful, absolutely Just like the boardwalk wonderful. experience. It's yep. so beautiful over here. I feel like it's so nice. So now we are actually headed back to our resort. I took my watch off to take some photos for the thumbnail, and I just feel like my watch made it look kind of silly. But it did not fit the aesthetic. It did not fit the aesthetic, which I can now put it back on. It is 734. We are meeting Kelsey, who is an amazing subscriber of mine, who actually is bringing us to the Moonlight Magic Hours tonight. Yeah. I don't know if I've mentioned that, but basically Moonlight Magic Hours happen twice a year for all the per parks. Park. Per park. So twice a year per park. And tonight just happens to be Hollywood Studios Moonlight Magic Hours. So it's only available for Disney Vacation Club members. And we are going to get to go into the park for 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. There's like snacks. There's not a lot of ride lines. Like there's just we're gonna see phantasmic it's gonna be really cool so i'm very excited for that yep. very unorthodox travel day oh yeah very. thank goodness we took that nap this afternoon because if not we would be absolutely like gutted and shattered so the boardwalk is beautiful we're full bellied ready to go back and recharge so we're going to go back to the resort like i said at 7 30 and we don't need to meet them until 9 30 outside of hollywood studios so we're going to go back we're going to change because we're definitely i'm not going to hollywood studios in white denim oh wait you look adorable for hollywood studios it totally fits the bad girl aesthetic that you love there. I am like in my most floral paisley. You literally did not sense the I know the sarcasm. sarcasm. I'm just like teasing along. But so yeah, we're heading to the Skyliner now. We're gonna take a nice little ride, go back to the Riv, the Riviera, where we're living. living our best With life. our living room. With our living room. That's what we keep saying. Literally. We can hang out in the living room. <laughs> I literally, so I had a glass of water today. So I poured a water bottle into a glass and I was like, on the glass in the of the dishwasher. dishwasher. <laughs> It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing though. So we are headed back to the Riviera and we will see you when we get ready for Hollywood Studios. So we just made it back to the Riviera and look how beautiful all of the lights are. Our room is this one right here because Corey left the lights on. So we were originally supposed to be in a tower studio, but now we're in this one with our balcony. So we are going to head inside, but just wanted to show how absolutely beautiful it looks right now. All right, so we have made it to Moonlight Magic Hours with our two newest best pals who let us in. Hey guys. Yes, Everybody. so Kelsey and her, do I even know your name? No, Mike. <laughs> we all keep it real around here. Kelsey and Mike said that they were coming to Moonlight and Magic Hours. They gave Corey and I so graciously two of their other tickets. So thank you both. We just rode Minnie and Mickey's with them. So we're gonna part ways, but thank you so much. And you wanna say to the vlog? Shout out to Mikey Beth. Shout out to Beth. <laughs> See you so, guys later. Yes, yeah, so we're all gonna split ways, but again, thank you so much. We're gonna, we don't know what we're gonna do. We're just kind of going about it, but wanted to do some on the vlog, and now it's time for Moonlight Magic Hours. Alrighty, our first intro was a little chaotic, but we had 
when I tell you the best time with Kelsey and Mike. Both yeah. of you, thank you so much. We got into the Moonlight Magic Hours because of them, because Mike's family is DVC members, and for these Moonlight Magic Hours, you get five tickets. They were using two, and they offered us two, and that was just like so sweet and so kind and so thoughtful, and like we had the best time with you guys. Yeah. It was so fun. We would have hung out with you all night because we thought you were so fun. And shout out to Mike's parents who said that they watch us. So shout out to you. We love you. Thanks for supporting us. But we are now going to enjoy extra, no, I keep calling them extra magic hours, moonlight but they're magic moonlight hours. magic hours. They're for Disney Vacation Club members, and this is going to be such a fun night. So it is, so far we just actually ended up getting off Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway with them. It is 10, 19. We're here till 1 a.m. We just got some Diet Cokes because I need some caffeine to boost up my uh, my energy here. So we're gonna go quickly and see how long of a wait Rise is. If the ride is kinda long, then we're just gonna take a quick loop, go do some shopping and see if they have like a pin, maybe a t-shirt to commemorate tonight. And then we're gonna watch. Fantasmic. Which I'm excited. I've even got my Fantasmic shirt on. This was my first ever shirt from May 2021 when I wore it to Disney. So uh, anything you wanna say to the vlog? Also vlog, I'm sorry, I know I'm blurry. I can just see it. Let's get this party started. We're at Fantasmic, and I've got on my shirt, and I've got some compliments on it, even though I've never seen Fantasmic or anything well, about it. Well, at least it. you're on brand. I am on brand, and I've got a Mickey sandwich. Corey already ate his Mickey bar on his walk all the way over here. Well, okay, it was a long walk. Yeah, so we're watching Fantasmic now. It starts in, it is 10.53, so seven minutes. We're in like literally the front row. I am so excited, and this Mickey sandwich is literally hitting the spot, but if, we've never seen Fantasmic before the walk over here was brutal. So, we really hope this is really good. Because because the walk was like, The walk was not. Yeah, so, but we're having a good time. This Hollywood Studios. Where after hours feels like our hours and the park feels like home. Everybody, we are back from Moonlight Magic Hours. It is 12.05 on the dot. We had such a lovely, lovely night. Again, I know I've said it a few times, but Kelsey and Mike, you are so amazing. I hope that we get to see you in the future. They're also from Connecticut. We're from Connecticut, so we hope to all like get together at some point, because I think that would be also super fun. We're gonna have, probably have to stop moving because the camera just doesn't want to focus, but we're gonna talk about two things. The first is, let's talk about Fantasmic. Let me also get out of the road, because I'm one of those people that just like stopped in the middle of the road. So, Fantasmic? I thought it was amazing. Oh I've never seen Incredible. it before. Incredible. I it, loved it. The capability of putting each different scene together and With putting those objects on there and you have no idea because of the yeah. water spraying in front of you is baffling. Oh, yes, you're no, saying like, like on just, the rock. Just transitioning each scene yes. on the rock. Yes. It, I, I'm sorry, I go from a technical standpoint. Yeah. I'm one of these weirdos. But like it was incredibly, from a production standpoint, absolutely impressive. And for me, I thought that was amazing. I sing the whole time. Yeah. So it was great. I loved that. I loved the ending with the boat and all the characters. You never get to uh, see yeah. that many characters all of all different once. backgrounds and like so many different Disney things all together. My yeah. camera battery's gonna die, so one second. Alrighty, sorry. Battery's gonna die. We're gonna do our three favorites really Technology. quick. Technology. I loved Fantasmic. It was amazing. We'd never seen it before, and I absolutely loved it. So, three favorites of the day was our room getting upgraded. That was same. That was number one. My second favorite was Fantasmic, mm -hmm. and I think my third favorite was Flying Fish dinner. Flying Fish was fab. Am I missing uh, something? Yes. What am I missing? Oh, getting my annual pass. 
I'm sorry. It's been a long day. I've been up for 20 hours. <laughs> I was like, how was that Cut automatically not number two? All right, sorry. So recap, my favorites were our checking into the Riviera and upgrading our room. Same. Well, Disney upgrading our room for us. Getting my annual pass or getting our annual pass. Same. And fantastic. Same. Mine, no, mine, I'm being snooty. Finally being able to say that yes, I have an annual pass, pass holder discount. <laughs> it has been a freaking dream every time we come a here. A pipe dream. It and is, it finally and it is finally true. finally occurred, and it is awesome. And your other favorites were what? The same two as you are, the room upgrade, oh, the room and upgrade then upgrade acquiring and the said annual pass. All right, amazing. Well, we are gonna call it a night because we are exhausted. We've got a really busy, busy day tomorrow at Hollywood Studios again, and Magic Kingdom. We're so excited, we're gonna see Happily Ever After. We're riding Tron. And we're gonna meet We've some got friends. Rise, we're gonna meet some friends. We've got a lot going on tomorrow. So make sure if you enjoyed this Disney vlog that you give the video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below. And turn on your post notification bell so you never miss an upcoming Disney video. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Toodle.